behave yourself. Just behave yourself. Goodness me. How are we doing? Are we here? We are. Good afternoon, everybody. How are we? It's been forever. Let me just find you. Find you, find you, find you. I know that sounds silly, but I've got to find you on my phone. Ah, ah. Because my computer's just, you know, decided mid-launching into a Facebook show to reboot itself. Luckily, we don't rely on it. Where are you? Here we go. I'm going to turn my sound down. There we are. Well, it's been forever. How are you? And it's, I don't know where the week went. This time, it's amazing to think that this time, last week, I was putting the finishing touches on my stand at the More World Craft Alive show. Where did that week go? Good afternoon. Who's here? Everyone's here. Lorraine, um, Kerry Lee, hello, lovely to see you. Good afternoon, Diane. Good to see you too. Bob Lawrence, it's been forever. How are you? Nancy, Yvonne was there with me on Friday with her hubby. Good afternoon, Jill, Helen, Robin. Hello, Maggie. Uh, hi, Gwen. Oh, you're all coming online. I'll just stand here and talk for a minute, shall I? <laughs> I'll just wait for you all to get here. It's going to sound like a roll, a roll call at local Beaumaris Primary School. Kathy, Lynn and Sharon, it is lovely to see you. Patricia Bramford's in the building. Hello, Karen's here too. Oh, Joe Cocker, hello everyone. It does seem so long. Well, it was. It was It was well over, well over a week. Hello, Diana. Good to see you too. Sylvie's here. Good afternoon. My kitchen is just about finished, so can use it tonight. Ah, <laughs> I'll tell you about kitchens. Just one momento. Uh, Mary, M Marie's here. Linda's here. Tell her, Diane Limforth. How are you? Why were we talking about craft foods? We were talking about craft foods a lot, a lot on the weekend. I can't remember. <laughs> I was staying on a dairy farm, but no, that didn't have anything to do with it. Oh, no, we've been talking about craft a lot. Because Steve's off on a uni camp next week and he's going up to Cobram. That kind of is where it all started. Um, hello, Sue. It was lovely to see you on the weekend as well. The rain's here. It's, um, oh, yeah, yeah. Cindy's here. Pam's here. Okay. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? Had a good time. So it was a bit of a culture shock. A bit. Doing craft a lot. Uh, because hadn't put a stand together for near on three years but the people there the same as me but m my last show wasn't actually here I still haven't worked it out but I think because I get confused with our Australian textile exhibitions I think the last show was oh Cheryl says it's pouring rain in Dubbo I'll have some of that thanks all day long hi Rhonda Josie um I think I was yeah it was it was Birmingham or Houston oh, wasn't a full Birmingham show, that's four years ago. Anyway, a lot of people hadn't done one for a while, so we had the music cranked up on the Friday. It was good music that Brett had chosen. And we had a bit of a dance, and we um, set up our stand. So it was really nice seeing people on the weekend. It was it was tough, I'll be honest, it was tough doing it with masks because my and my throat still hasn't recovered. And of course, it's really hard. When, and also, when you when your hearing's not that good, and there's a lot of noise around you, you don't realise how much you rely on uh, seeing people's lips move. Anyway, I believe all that's changing uh, very soon. Today, tomorrow, something like that. So, we had a really, really good time. I, I had, you know, don't end, underestimate the amount of work to prep to do a show, though. It was uh, pretty full on. Hello, Debbie. Good to see you, Judy B. Hello. Uh, if he comes this way, it's going to rain. <laughs> um, oh, is it going to rain up your way? So, it, well, he is. He's heading up to Cobram. He'll be on the Murray. Deidre. Oh, no. Check the set. Look. I'm not actually... You know what? Today is almost like a, a mini drama series where there's part one and part two, possibly a part three because we unwrapped all these gorgeous I want to show you what I put at the show I um, wrapped all these gorgeous new fabrics with Emma and we went a little bit nuts 
she's taken some things home to make I am the first thing I did was got on the phone to my supplier and said please try and get us some more so the ones that are here I need more of just hang on girls I've lost my my newts. heavens this will be good I'm going to be working blind what have I done with my notes you're not sitting on them are you no uh, we'll, we'll see how we go I'm, I might uh, I'm sure it'll be fine I'm sure it'll be fine it'll all come to me anyway good time was had by all I uh, yeah, stayed with Margaret with Karen Styles, and I cooked dinner, dinner for Yuji and uh, Alison Wild Bisabi on Saturday night and in Marg's beautiful kitchen and it was all it was all wonderful. So uh, coming home, got home lunchtime Saturday, uh, sorry, Monday, caught up with Steve, orders, stock, taped all the stock, put it away, had other stuff. I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. So if you have an order in from Thursday, I'm actually filling it. I've spoken to Mel. Uh, Ruth, you've got one in. There's a couple of others there. They will. They are sitting there ready to go. Um, and I'm very sorry I didn't get them out yesterday. But they, we can combine them for you if you buy anything from today's show. But today is part one. So I'm going to show you all the fabrics today. And I'm going to hopefully give you a lot of inspiration and ideas on how to use them. Uh, and then we're going to come back and revisit that on Tuesday. Because there's just so much I wanted to show you today. We, we wouldn't get to a demo and I, I'm, my ambition today is to completely bamboozle you, confuse you and send you around in circles so you don't know what to get if you want anything. That's what, that's what my plan is. Um, it's a good plan. I love doing that to people. Hi Floria, how are you? Hello Karen. Hey Karen Carter's coming over from KL, KL everyone. She said, can we get together for a cuppa? And I went, we should be able to fit it in. I think we might, um, we might make that a little bit of a soiree for those in the area, don't you? I think we could all do a little bit of a, a bit of a sit and sew. So I'll, I'll get back to you on that and we'll work something out. Hello, Sue. Um, I don't know why you don't have sound, Rhonda, but I've got plenty of sound at this end. So I'm not sure you might need to sound, send the, turn the sound up. Hello, Francis. Uh, turn the sound up. Everyone else is alright though, aren't you? You all good? I'm sure you would have yelled at me by now. I'm sure you would have. Alright, so this is... Um, I, I've changed three times for what to wear on the set today. Can you, I, I could not find anything. And then I went and put black on and I just morph. I just look like a blob against all the colour. So I've sort of... You know, I, I'm, I'll see how long I, um, I last. What's that, Jude? Gee, thanks. <laughs> oh dear oh that's so funny oh Karen's having trouble with her internet that's that's a um that's a shame looks like speed punk does it have a repeat yes it does Felicity okay look at this this is the local uh, knitting and spinning guild were there yes I could have bought uh, a quilt kit I own a patchwork shop could have bought a sewing machine I don't think so so these are the things that I look for. I just I just wanted to show you, and I will wear it when it's a little bit cooler. But look, they've ombre, you know, because you know I love my ombre. It's just stunning. So I bought that for myself, and I'm going to be really honest with you. Um, this was this was uh, I think this was sixty dollars. Now someone has sat, spun that wool, and knitted it. So how could how could I not give it a home? And how could I not buy a beanie, which was not designed to match? Well, I had to have the beanie. And I think my eye was attracted to those because um, of, I knew this is what was happening this week. So first of all, I need to tell you, if you um, haven't joined A Quilter's Life, this is the day to do it, or this is the weekend to do it because uh, the 10% discount for members runs out on Monday. So I'm just rebooting my computer that decided it needed a new... Oh, let's let's not do that now. Let's remind me in three days. Um, so 
this is the time to join so that you can get specials on all of this stuff. Otherwise, that actually finishes on Monday at midnight. So it's 10% discount. And membership's $10 a month, so I'll let you do the maths on it being a good idea or not to do that. Oh, we're back. Okay. And um, just also to let you know what's back in stock. So steamer seems back. Now, you've been chewing, literally chewing in truckloads through my steamer seam. And I'm guessing you all like using it. So what I've done, um, thanks Joan, yes, that's my nice little souvenir. Um, what I've done is I've grabbed the wider one. So Steve's changed it all over on the website for me. So this one's actually, instead of 12 inches or 30 centimetres, this one is 18 45 centimeters so when you go oh she's hiked up the price of the steamer seam you're actually getting 50 percent more in the width so that's back up irons arrived miss kate very very kindly dropped off my uh, order this afternoon so they're back in and i'm sorry that was out for so long but the double-sided tape is back in as well so that's back in and what else came back in Self-covered buttons are back there at the front door, so I've got to unpack those. Steve's putting all those up. Um, if Steve, if you're watching from your side of town, there are six boxes at the front door from you know who in you know where for that new club. He's sent it all now. So there are six boxes of beautiful new solids to add to our collection at the front door. And um, that would probably be my problem because he's off chuffing off for a uni camp next week. So anyway, they are there. The other reason that you might want to get into a course's life this week, um, if you don't know about it, that's it. That's the that's the website. So you hop on there, acultuslife.podia.com. I like to soft sell you a course's life. You know me. I just like to mention it briefly every now and then. Um, not this week. I want you in. If you're going to join, get in. Because Madison, Madison, the Madison collection is all going on there next week. This is a $19.50 pattern and is part of your $10 membership. And I'm, uh, we've actually posted up already one part of the three parts in the pattern, which is the clutch. This is the bow clutch. So girls in a course life, if you haven't seen this yet, you've got your pattern already up there for you. If you didn't get a notification, when you go back in next time, just go through all the categories and make sure you click that little follow button and then you'll get a notification every time there's something new up there. So that's that's part one part of the clutch and sorry, one part of the set. That's the other part of the set. That's the big bag, that's the retro bag, and then there's a glasses case. So they will all be going up or you'll be able to buy the pattern for nineteen fifty as a digital download. So, you know, the maths for you. This is too late. We'll have limited kitchens of this, kits of this. Um, Emma made it up in these colours as well. But what's behind me is going to work really well as well. And I'm doing a pink and teal set um, in um, under the Australian sun to test the pattern as well. There's so much in this pattern and, you know, it's Michelle Fisher's beautiful pattern from our exhibition last year. It's interesting when people come along and design a bag and they and it's completely different to the way we put a bag together. And we've honoured that. We've done it the same way. And it's really, really cool. So they'll be up. That's all happening next week with Em. But I really want to do it. Really, really want to do it in some of these new fabrics. So, oh, thank you for packing my parcel Oh, oh, Patricia, that's wow. So you got your package and it had, in the rain, it had two tears in the outer packaging. Yes. That is why we always have inner packaging. I never have naked fabric in my parcels. And then sometimes you go, is that really being environmentally friendly? And then you hear stories like that and you go, oh no, I'm really glad we did it. So that's that pattern's going up. And there's a couple of other things that are going up as well. On top of what I've put up this week, I've put the iron away. I have nowhere to put the iron. Let's put that over there. So they're back up. Um, they're not tagged on the banner at the front. I'm sorry, the, the I don't think Steve has. He might have. But the I just put in iron and it will bring it up. But you've got your little banner at the top with everything that we've got on the show today. Um, and as I said, we're going to come back. 
<laughs> Hi Meg! Uh, we get to come back and um, show you some of the things I'm going to talk about today and what Emma just stole for, I can't, I don't know how else to put it. She just went through and took half a metre of all of them and I had to go in and, and reduce all the inventory on all of them. So, right, so this is, this is what's new and there's a couple of new things over here but we've had so much, and there's new pre-cuts, I've had so much fun, I don't know where to start, um, playing with these. So this is our new range. It's digitally printed and it is called Color Collage. Um, it's just, it's just stunning. I mean, it's by, North could have done it as well. Man, have they changed over time. They have really lifted my game. So I've been waiting for the bag pattern sets. I hadn't seen the notification. Oh, yeah, okay. So don't go in there and make sure you're following, following, following. Sylvia needs a pattern for an, for an iron bag. I might talk to Natasha about that. I was having a good chat with her this morning about all things wonderful uh, in the fabric world. I'd, this is it, the I Spy books, the, you know, but almost I Spy for grown-ups or teenagers as well. It's just, let me give you a look. And, and, every colour is a different pattern. Oh, there goes the planes. Okay, look, can you see that? You will sit, as Emma did, for hours trying to find them all. You've got, there's my repeat there. Um, I think, I did grab a ruler so we could have a look. It's, it's a wild and wonderful repeat, you know. It's a 40 centimeter or a 16 inch repeat now that's achievable because it is digitally printed it's not screen printed so all of our screens in our factory in japan are actually set to um they're a certain size so that limits the the repeats that we can work with so but with these i'll feel you like that you can uh, you can do anything when you digitally print up to about a yard so look at that how funky. So we've got lots of different colours and I want to show them to you with with some ideas and, and some coordinates to go with them. So we, we have put a lot of thought into what's going to work with them for you. I'm going to put that there and pull this over. I'm really sorry about the lighting on my overhead. Um, I'm going to get Rob to play with it again on the weekend. It's quite dark, but I'll just lay this down for a minute. Or maybe it's just my screen. I'll lay it down for a minute. I'm going to pull what goes with it. And then we can go back up again. So we are getting in a lot of solids this year to run a particular club that will start next month. And I have pulled some of those and done just special little, just special little kits while this fabric is available so that we can just, you know, Enjoy the moment. Just enjoy the moment of what's going to work with them. So I'll switch that. Oops, sorry girls, didn't mean to do that. I'll pop that here. If I hold that up and then I pop these over the top for you, you can see what I've done. I've pulled all the colours in solids out of the print. So this dark one shows up just in little splotches through it but all of these peachy violet colours here are all through these. So there is a special limited edition fat eighth pack um, of solids to go with this one. And I've got one to go with the blue one as well. But then, then there are, there are other things. And oh, two of these solids, you'll find that I have put them up, I've tagged them on their own as well because they're my probably the best two if you wanted to coordinate this particular print with a dark solid for a bag or a sashing or something like that. So that's the best one um, to use with it. The other thing that goes with these, or this pink one, are our Liberty Packs. So again, if I pop this down here and show you, that little fat eighth pack of Liberties, look at that with it. That's really good. And the one that I would suggest, if you, wait, what have I done with it? Here it is. 
if you wanted a lining, a really good lining to go with this, I would actually recommend this Liberty be out of this pack. Um, you'll find that under our Liberty prints because this has got orange on it. See that? It's actually orange. So this perfectly picks it up and I think the little bit of white background works really well with it. So that to me was a little bit of a marriage, a little bit of a marriage made in heaven. Yes, Felicity, it does. It makes it, it makes it really, Jane, stop. Um, it is so cool. It, it just, it ruined our very constructive work day on Tuesday when I said, Emma, I've got something to show you. Um, so funny. Yeah, it does. It really makes it easy to work with, particularly if you are doing a bag, you know, and a lot of us do bags that are about, they're about, you know, 14, 15, 16 inches high, a nice big tote, then you know you're going to get all of the repeat. I feel like I just want to go, I feel like it's a wrap. Eat it. So that's the pink one. I'll pop this one back. So there's, look, there's so much. Hang on, I'll pull. Do you remember these? Um, we've got, I took offline little bits left of two of them. I don't know why. We still had stocks. So I've put them back up. I don't know. But these are the new gradations that have come through from, uh, they're called Hoffman Waves. Ready? 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 So you've got every single beautiful pastel, every single beautiful pastel colour in there. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. And then you turn over and you've got your blues. So I need to leave this one down. If I pop this one, pop that back, look. But it, they were made to go together and that's what I don't understand because this is Northcote and this is Hoffman so I, I don't get it but every one of these colours on this side is in here so it's just gorgeous again I can't I, I, I am still a bit gobsmacked with them and I about how it all works together so I'm I'm still playing but you may not need to. You might know exactly what you want to do with it back in there. All right, so I'm going to, now you've got the gist of it, I'm going to, going to move on. Going to, going to, going to, going to move on. Um, and show you the purple one. I don't know what the back of my hair looks like. I hope it's all right. Turned around. Here's the purple. So this one you've got purple and violet and lavender and words and everything. The violet book, it's just, there's everything in it. You can sit for hours. There are blackberries, buttons, pansies, butterflies, balls of string, cups and saucers, shoes, gerberas. <laughs> I have no idea it would have taken her forever, the designer. Uh, Shelley to just collage it and and put it all together. I just I don't know. I don't know how she did it. I want to do one though. I really really want to do one now. Okay, so that's beautiful. Let me I'm going to pop that one under there. So you've got that there. Um, we've had our purple applique essential packs. Hello, Miss Jenny. Hello, you beautiful creature. Um, and then we had the new. <laughs> purple pack and then there's only two of those left oh I know what I do you know we did not do we drew the prize that Barb Clifford won we didn't do a new prize did we the other day so we didn't do the next one I'm going to tell you what it is the next prize for orders from two o'clock today through to midnight on Sunday is going to be the two new purple applique essential packs, I'm doing two, we'll draw two people, that uh, we've taken offline today because I need to do a new one. So every time we do one, they sell out and then I can't do any more. So uh, I've done a new updated version today. It's just called Purple Now. And we, we're putting all the names of the fabrics down so you know exactly what's in your pack. 
um, and that way if we ever need to change it I won't need to change this one for a while but if we need to change it we'll we'll change what's written on there um, because we just can't keep up with you know a very telly sally thing to say we just can't keep them on the shelves but it's absolutely true look look at this all together so I did this one today with this in mind couldn't help myself all right so that works this is why I get so excited about colour. You ready? Next one. <laughs> Look at this. You can you can understand, can't you? Emma and I, Steve. God, Steve wasn't here Tuesday, and he he would have left. He just would have left. He would have upped and left because he wouldn't have put up with all the silly business going on here. Absolutely silly business. That's just beautiful. Remember, these ones actually repeat the same on the other side. So this one, we've tagged it for today. It's VP. It's probably violet purple, if I think about it. But you just can't, you can't beat that. So you've got that. You've got that on here. And then I've only got little smidgy bits left, little smidgy bit left of this one. So this one goes through to there. Let's have a look. I'm, I'm going to try and get some more of this one. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. I think my cat's on the roof. You're not seeing this, Ginny, because I can hear an absolute thumping commotion going on. Who knows? All right. So there's those. And then the other thing, I've tagged both of these as well. These are two more of those gorgeous colour works. They're not in that set of six pink ones. They are going into this um, new little club thing we're doing. But they're just... Oh my God, I ordered a lot of this, didn't I? They're just uh, really good. If you, if you want to sash, you know, and honestly, if you want to keep your cost down a bit and you're happy with the solid, this one's going to coordinate really well. So if I hold those up together... You can see that pops, that's really good, and so does this one. So they're both the two that are um, on that ban banner click at the top of the page today. I'll pop this one on the other side. I didn't go for the dark dark, I went there, and then you can see it's pulling up this purple. The paler one in there. Right. Just all you purple freaks, I know who you are. I know who you are. Oh, thanks Steve. Steve's, Steve's, Steve's watching or Rob's watching. We don't know. Tina, you... <laughs> um, Tina, totally fine. Totally fine. You are forgiven for... It's been so long. It doesn't, it doesn't matter that you... God. It's going to be here. It'll be here to watch for ages. This one without a demo, though, I suppose once the fabric's all gone, we... I don't know. We might, we might take it down. Next Tuesday we won't though. Alright, so that's that lot. I've done the ombre, so you get what I mean. It's just, I think because there's so many colours in the actual prints, I'm not, I am a blue girl. Well, you, I know I am a blue girl because of Dutch Cottage and Summer Palace and things like that. Um, but this, this got me because it's just, it goes blue through to aqua. And it's that real um, imperial sort of jade. I am having too much fun, Sharon. <laughs> too much fun. Uh, yeah, I have to be quite serious at the show because I'm, you know, with you lot on here, it's you lot, with you lovely Chandler's Cottage community, I can be a bit silly, but I was there amongst my peers and I decided I'd better behave myself a bit better. Look at this one. So... If you decide that you want to put something with this, then I'm I'm going to say not denim. I've checked the denim. That's a big no. Navy, not even because it looks dirty up against this. What you need is black. You just run black with it. And oh my black. Hang on. Handles, handles, handles. I've got black. My bolts of black magic are actually on the stand and they are um, holding up other things 
it's black. So if I hold that up there for you, see what happens? All of the little bits of black which are underlying in the print pop up. Now I've got, I've, I've ordered some black vinyl and I've got black vinyl coming in, but M got out, she got out the black cork. And that was right as well. Even with the fleck of gold through it, this was really good. So you could go plain black, you could just use um, plain black with it, with the handles. So it's still going to give you a bag that's going to look really nice with, you know, a casual look with jeans and things for going out, but it doesn't go with denim. You, it's, it's a black thing. You need the black to go with it. Now, with the blues, we also have some... Oh, I forgot to show you the, the green cork. I'll come back to that. Um, we have some beautiful new applique essential packs that have been done with a project in mind. It's probably about a week, two weeks away from showing you, but we've put them up on the website today. Mel saw that they were in stock and she grabbed one straight away this afternoon. So I wanted to show you it just up against the blue pack. So this is my new rainbow essential pack. So you've got 10 beautiful Hoffman batiks in every, all, all not all colours of the rainbow, but we're getting there. So you've got two blues through the teal, jade, green, lime, orange, sorry, lemon, orange, into a lovely sort of cherry red. It's called cardinal and pink. So this is going to be super handy. I'm doing a little applique project with this onto navy blue. But we decided that it was just the week to let it loose because of all of these fabrics. So that is a lovely little thing. All on its own to add to the stash, you've got the other applique essentials. And then you've got, just like the pinks, so this is what happens when you let me out to play everybody for a week. I come back and I'm a little bit out of control with fabric. Look at that. <gasps> Mm. I don't know. I think I want a Seminole. You know what a Seminole border is, don't you? You know what that is? Just the triangles on point with the yeah, with those. I think. I think. Um, what about a twisted knitting bag? Yeah, that'd work too. It would. Okay. This is our. Um, these are back in stock as well. So these are the periwinkle as opposed to the true blue applique essential packs. You might want that out of the pack. So there's two different ones. I thought it was going to be the true blue. So did M and we got it out and that was a big fat no. It was not. Oh, if you've all got a pen in your hand, I need you please, please to write down something for me. Um, if you live in, I don't care where you live really. If you live in Victoria, I'm assuming no one's going to get on the plane to do it, but if you live in Victoria, please write down the town of Garfield. And then I want you to put down the two days after Mother's Day weekend. I think they're the 14th and 15th. Oh, heavens, I didn't look before I said it. I'm pretty sure it is. I think it's the... Let me have a look. 14th and 15th of May. So the weekend after... Wait, 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 I can do this, I can do this. That one there. Uh, I think it's that weekend. Anyway, please pop a site, whichever one it is. The weekend after Mother's Day weekend. Here we go. Yep, the 14th and 15th in the town of Garfield. See if you're free. See how far it is to drive to Garfield. Just do that for me, will you? Because um, something's, it's on. There's an event, it's on, and it's a day that involves handmade cake, hand-baked cake, and sewing. So just, just keep that, just keep that in your, in your head for me, and I'll have more details for you next week. I just didn't want to forget, that's on that list that's somewhere in the house. So see this, it, this is the right way. The true blue, the China blue doesn't work, but these, this is really good. So uh, there's new stock of periwinkle as well. I had a Thai massage last night because my arm didn't work anymore because I've been cutting. Um, and this is the other one of these new 
beautiful new Hoffman waves. And the other side, oh look, it's, it's still got its tape on, I haven't even, you ready? There you go. So you've got everything from a beautiful sage green down to these really dark inky blues down here, all the way through. So let's have a look here. So these, this works with this, weird and wonderful it does, and then you go through to the other side to the blues. So that's just it's lovely. Uh, and you could put that, you look, you could put that with quite a few of them. I don't want that one yet, do I? So that's the blue. Um, what did I forget? Have I forgotten anything yet? Yes, I have. Two things with the purple. Oh my god. Where shall we put that? Up there. With the purple. I forgot to tell you this, we've now got this gorgeous apple green cork up online. This is what we had have in our uh, purple makeup bag kits, and purple makeup purse kits with, um, with their little tassels and things on them. I've got new stuff and I have finally dedicated it with the other ones that we've got to being able to purchase by the 10 centimetre um, piece. So. This, we, we thought that this was pretty good. If you love that whole effect that we did with the makeup purse, then this is really nice together. When you buy your cork, uh, you're buying it. <laughs> Megan, you have to come and come and stay with me. It's only 525 Ks. I don't understand. Meg, I've got a bed for you. Come down. And if you don't, we'll be coming towards you. Uh, where does Marg want to go? She wants to go to... Oh, I'm giving away who's in there now. I don't know. Oh, Witchy Proof somewhere up there. Patcha, what is it? Patcha, you'll tell me what I'm trying to say. Um, I love this because I love my makeup bag. But the other thing too that M, M pointed out, there's this murky, gorgeous, creamy, caramelly cream colour in this. All right, if I put that there... Have a look at this over the top. See how it pulls up, sorry, it pulls this up. So you wouldn't think, would you, that that's the go, but this works, see that colour down there? These work really well. So with that also, that means if you're not a green girl, we've got two different corks uh, in natural colour on the website. But I have put this one on, which is the one without the metallic with this one. You can see what I mean. It, it actually is really interesting and surprisingly nice. It calms things down and these handles with the natural cork are a nice marriage if you're going to put this on the lower half of a bag and this on the top. When we uh, get together on Tuesday, I'll have one of our shopping totes actually made up with one of these fabrics with a band of something else at the bottom. And I suspect it's going to be the black vinyl uh, when I get it in. Now, put that across here. The, the actual pattern that comes with the handles, it is the same as our Melba tote, which is a free download on the website. So if you want to have a look at that to get an idea of scale and everything, these are a 40 centimetre repeat and the bag at the size I've got it on the pattern, you cut it at 14 and a half inches, which is 35. So you could make it just a little bit taller if you wanted to, just keep the width the same. But that way, again, you know you're going to get that full repeat of everything. I just think, if I was a grandma right now and I had to go somewhere on a train with a little person, I'd be wearing this bag and then the whole trip, they could sit there and I spy all the way. But the same for kids to make them just little pyjama bags or little quilts with all of these on in their favourite colour or a mix of all of them would be lovely. We talked about doing a fat quarter or a fat eighth pack but because we, because uh, of what we're suggesting that you make with them, we might come in back and do that if we get some more in. I'm really, really hoping that we do. Alright, the green is gorgeous, so really different. I might say for all the Irish out there, I don't know, but the green is really, really nice and fresh and really different. So this one's got Cactus frogs, cricket stuff, buttons. It it's just look at it all. Heaps of stuff on there. 
Sue's 51 minutes for you. Yeah, so it was... <laughs> yes, that's it. Patchy Wallach Meek. That's what... Um, yeah, that's what that's what Mark wants to do. I said witchy proof, and she said Patchy Wallach. So we might we might have to do both. Road trip. Wouldn't that just be? Wouldn't that just be fun? We got a few girls up on the border. I think that'd be. Oh, Kerrang! We could go and see the girls at Correct. We'll talk later. Oh, sorry, sorry. Event meeting in progress. All right, I'll put this back. Um, there you go. So 51, yeah, so we were 50, it was 45 minutes from Cobram. I think so, Jill. Oh, you love the green. Oh, I'm very pleased to hear that. So the pub at Patch plus Silo Art, yes. Done deal, Megan, we'll talk later. Um, The green, I think, Jill, yes, of all of them, I think this would be a good one. There are thongs. There's cotton. It, there's cards, there's plates, there's... I think so. I think they're all good. This one, probably Jill in the blue. Oh, wait, I haven't done the red yet. Give me a minute. We'll have to do the red as well. All right, so with the green, we had a lot... Again, we had a lot of fun. And... Um, Liberty. Absolutely. Liberty and Apple. Look at that. Gorgeous perfect pulls it all up this also jill is not it's not flowering they're actually little fruit things and little leaves so it's not flowers so that would be a really good coordinate and again i would just pop the green with black if you needed a really really dark coordinate and this is i've got some more of this in to go with it so um well we had a the story goes remember we did this last year this is the sorbet ombre and then I had a big order from someone and I ended up with half a bolt, so it's back. Perfecto. Perfect. Uh, and same colour with these guys on the back. So it goes from dark to light, up the top of the fold. Megan. Sorry, back to me. Megan, Megan, Megan. Um, do you remember I used to have... Meg's the only one here that would remember... As a channel's cottage girl, the snakes and ladders quilt. Do you remember the snakes and ladders quilt? So you do the checkerboard quilt, and then we had up anyway. Meg might remember checkerboard snakes and ladder quilt with all of these. Because I've just seen this. The green one's got a snake on it. Suppose you want that pattern, right, everyone? Pretty quickly. Okay. Right. Uh, this is another one that I had a smidgy bit left of. I'm going to show this one to you now because it would be good to put with the green, but it's also going to go with pretty much all the others. So this one is a rainbow piece. So if you think about this pack that I've done, this is representative of it all in one fabric, but there's not, there's not much of it left. So this one goes red through to the same greens here, and then it goes through to blue and the purple down the other side. So that's going to give you everything in the one piece as a real rainbow piece. So pop that one back up there. All right, I'll put the green, put the greens back, and then we're getting to the high end, the high end of the shelf. I think, yeah, right, Megan, you're on. I think the green's good, isn't it? Because it's just, it's just a little bit different, and it's fresh. Um, it doesn't feel Christmassy. The red's nice. Okay, with the red, finally my scarf matches. <laughs> with the red, we can. What's on the red? Let's have a look. We have dominoes, we have gerbers, we have pencils, we have thread, we have Chinese spoons. Um, <laughs> just it's everything. There's love hearts, there's retro girls, there's cocktail umbrellas for our drinks. You can just look, there's a, there's a little thing of Christmas. Again, at Christmas time, we weave the molly round at the Christmas heart. Just this little, little bit here. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Look at that. That little Chinese double happiness coin with the tassels on the end. We fold over another bit for you. There's a big so with this one, 
black all the way okay so handles wise black's really good and also our red remember we've still got our limited edition uh, leather I um that's the red so you can go red red if you want to onto there and then we've also got red cork now the red cork actually goes with the orange as well so if you just want full-on red you've got that and you could also do the black you could do the black cork now because you've got this little bit of you've got the little bit of gold metallic going through and you don't have gold in here what I'm finding is it balances out if you use these handles because see you've got that little bit of shiny happening here with the fittings and that that makes this work really well mm -hmm. I am in my happy place I know just a little bit. Sylvia says she loves that one. That was the green one, wasn't it? So, okay. Next. No. Not done. One more. This is the, this is our new red. So we used to have, it used to be different. I forget. It's another code. This is lighter. The other one goes down a lot darker. Okay. So this is lovely. Watch this. So I'll put this one up. There you go. So, this is perfect. So you're picking up every shade of the reds that are in the print, you'll pick up with the ombre. I think there's a lot of potential on this print to pick out little bits of the design and use them as an inspiration for applique, particularly the gerberas. So there just seems to be, see this big one, that big guy there. So I'm really keen to sort of do that bag a little bit like we used to have um, the sassy handbag and and a few others where you've got this is your main print I'm going to have a black background next to it and then pluck out this gerbera and applique uh, one or two of them on so there's a, a lot of a lot of things that we can do obviously as well if you're a pinned up patchwork bag and you love that bag this for your main panel and then use the ombre for your pin tucks sitting on a black background It'd be really nice Really, really nice. And Megan, we're bringing back the Go Go Girl bag. Just so you know. Oh, Sylvia says red and black for her. <laughs> we're going to bring back the Go Go bag. I think this this is definitely, definitely the moment to do it. It's like bringing back an old friend. So I'll just pop these. I'm going to leave that one out. I'll pop these back over here. I'm trying to stay neat and tidy so I don't trip over anything or things don't fall on my head pop that over there oh sorry well I remember do you remember we had all the jades before I went away and I cut so I could show you the fabrics without pulling them all down I cut fat quarters of all of these and I uh, we've run out of the cork you all gobbled up this fake cork one or the cork print um, I've got two fat quarter packs left I'm hoping to get more of the print so that we can keep this pack going. But in the meantime, I just got Steve to pop up those two packs that we've got from cutting it to show you last week. Okay, so that's up. Um, let's go orange. And this is why I wanted, gee, this is pretty good. This is why I wanted to leave uh, the red down because, see, it goes, it, it does go through to an orangey red in here. So the cork will work with this. You can put the red handles with it as well. So the red, the red's going to work and that's going to give you contrast without having to go to black. It will obviously work really well with black. But the red and orange together is very um, citrus. Melanie, there's the black with it. Mel. Okay, so that will all work. And then I've also got... So don't forget, see that? See that? That side of that would also go with the orange. And this yummy thing is O for orange. So again, you know, these are not these are not colours, are they, that we usually well I don't work in all the time. If I'm in oranges, I'm in that burnt ochre 
pumpkin colour with under the Australian sun and you know that's and Melbourne which are really dark dark rust this is light and bright and it and it's it's got a com it's still orange but it's got a completely different feel to it this orange in here is almost sort of that beautiful um, red grapefruit tangerine color so they're just beautiful just just really really lovely I think Sharon Keys, you are 48 minutes from Garfield which means I'm about 43 <laughs> Probably we'll just we'll just hop on we'll just hop on the what are we hopping on the freeway? We're going out to Danny and I'm popping on the freeway and we're there. In here we've got oranges, more gerberas, we've got teacups, thongs, ribbon, beads, heaps of stuff. Em's idea was <clears throat> she's doing some geometric stack and whack thing. I think with a fat quarter or half a metre of each. I don't know. She just left with fabric. She, I'm glad she left me some because I need to do what I want to do with it. Pop that one back up. Now with the... Oh, um, I know what I had to tell you. If you do like the orange, our other, our other new bright friends in terms of Figo, Bijou, it works so to me this is what I would choose for my lining in a tote I would just stay here I wouldn't stray I wouldn't try and do anything else I would definitely stay with orange orange um, if I'm going to do it I'm going to do it full on so I think I am going to do it oh there's buttons there's cats there's butterflies I'll just keep going all right, so that one works with that one. And then I'm going to get the yellow out straight away because we're going to need it. Absolutely going to need it. We'll put this gorgeous thing back up there. And then we'll put this one down. So this is the yellow. It's so, it just, it's it's almost a luminous in, in the way it takes off, there you go. Uh, I do have lemons, I have butterflies, I have yellow frogs. Oh, I've got those, I've got little stamps and I've got those little cards that we used to get in the tea packs and I've got little Chinese dishes, thongs, eggs, lemons, and there's, there's like writing on little bits of yellow paper. There's a banana. Of course there'd be a banana. So that's that one. Now, in terms of things that go with this, obviously black's going to really, really make it pop. So the black cork will work. The black, ha oh, black handles are going to work. I, uh, I love the Figo in the yellow with it. These work exceptionally well together. You know, like sometimes things just go and sometimes things were made for each other. Um, but also don't discount if you want to tone things down for an outside of a bag, the natural cork works with it as well. So you can go natural cork and those paler handles, that's going to work. And of course I'm talking bags the whole time, but in terms of a quilt, how absolutely cool. And you're not going to need much with it at all. So with the yellow, if you wanted to make a yellow quilt for someone, you'd have black sashing, probably. Yeah, you would do black sashing and you'd use this, I don't know, maybe do the three, maybe do red, orange uh, and yellow together in a quilt. It would be stunning. Um, or you could just, you know, do all of them. Do them all. Um, it does have a friend also in the ombre. So that one's marked up. That is um, the sorbet in, I can't, I can't see to save myself that glass on, OS. So again, what I said, you're just going to pull some of the little bits of the design out to do something. There's a lovely sunflower up here. So just yum. Um, 
yeah and I do I do like it I do like it with the cork there's quite a little bit of caramelly brown in there if you did want to go down that path just let me know and I'm sure we will have a shadow clay that will work really well with that for you so we can do that now yeah, so we've been through our corks, we're all good. Now the other things that go with it, just a little bit of a left field thing. Do you remember that uh, I spoke about, we had those new panels come in? Sorry a minute, I need to, I need to answer. <laughs> You're all checking how far it is. Just past Berwick before you get to Officer and Pakenham. Yes, Sylvia is not near Bayswater. It's not, you're heading out. It's Pakenham Way. It's sort of this little spot that sits below going down onto the coast and, and um, Gippsland and, and up. Um, yes, an hour ten, Bernadette, from Croydon. But the thing is, you know there's going to be... Yes, no, no lime cork, Margaret. It's lime cork. So you put cork in, it'll be there. And if it's not, it'll be there very soon. I don't think Steve's missed it. Um... Which what where a seam you gotta cut across. You'll you, no, Sylvia, we're gonna get you. Don't worry, we will get you there. We will get you there. No, not through Seymour and Yarra Glen. It literally head towards Morwell, just kind of. We'll get you a map. We'll get you a map. And you're gonna get there and it's gonna be a fun day and you're gonna have a gorgeous bag full of goodies to sew on the day and there'll be cake and there might be Margaret Upston and Karen Styles and me. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be extremely good fun. So as I said, details next week. You can all come, we're doing two days and each day oh but the killer is we're doing different projects on each day. So you might have to come two days or find a bed somewhere you <laughs> fine. Um but can't, we couldn't decide so we're going to do what to do so we're doing two days. With all of these, there's just a couple of other things worth looking at, and this is one of them. Oh, I was going to talk about that panel fabric. I'll come back to it. This is the rainbow gradations. So if you are grabbing any of these, here's the fabric, same both sides, that's going to work pretty much with any of them. So if I pull this out, it's going to pull up the pinks and, and the greens down the end with a smidge of the orange. Um, and I can do this with all of them. I can pull them all down and show you. I think the blue is actually really good. So if I pull this one down, then you're playing here, and you've also got a little bit of this like splashy red in here. So that one works really well. So all of them all of them are going to go. Um, probably, if I'm really honest, maybe not the red. Really, I think the orange is better. If I pull that down, then you can see all this bit down here is going to work. And look at this green here. That's that there. So this end's going to work. So if you're grabbing a couple of them, you've got a, you know two options are to grab that rainbow pre-cut pack that we've put together in the boutiques. Or, you, or one of the ombres gradations, but also this one would be really handy just to have in the stash. We've got that in three colours, but I've only tagged, I've only tagged one for the show. So that one works. Now, sorry, sidetracked. Last, so last week, the week before, a couple of weeks ago, we got in that really funky new panel fabric that Michelle Fisher cut up and her um, granddaughter proceeded to use for little bed dooners for her dolls, which was so, so cute. But she sent me a photo. So this is this print, and it's just, you know, it fits this theme of being really good fun. Let me put it out for you. There you go. Really good fun. We've just, I suppose, I've really gravi gravitated towards uh, awesome, Sylvia. That is brilliant. That would be really good. I've gravitated towards really fun, bright stuff towards the end of summer. And I think it's just because, you know, we've all been through a lot. It's just been two years of what the goodness me is going on. And so I decided I wanted to play with some bright colours. It's also been, I will admit, a little bit of a, 
a, a little bit of a get resetting my brain before I start designing again. So I'm back designing again on uh, Sunday morning. Well, I did start a couple of months ago, but I'm getting back into it on Sunday morning. And it just helps me erase or just reset the bar from everything that I have been doing up until now. And, you know, while I'm not designing those fabrics anymore, we're working and cutting and sewing with them every day. So I just just wanted to shift my brain a little bit. But it's um, been an absolute joy and it's a real mood changer. So this lovely thing. Now, I, Steve, if you're watching, can you tag this for me? Because I don't think I did. It is, I'll tell you what it's, it's Elizabeth Studios. Sorry, Stevie, I'll get this tagged up. If you put in Elizabeth Studios, uh, it's going to come up. What? Uh, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will, and I'll tag it. This lovely thing, what we have said, and I had a great chat with Rachel Daisy on the weekend. Oh, check that out together. Holy mummy. Um, had a chat with Rachel. I said, hey, Rach, on your behalf, I offered up your services to judge a little competition and she thought that was hilarious and was very, very excited. So anyone that buys this fabric, um, you're going to make something gorgeous and by the 1st of May, you are going to um, send us a photo and we are sending all the photos. It's pretty good, isn't it? Sending all the photos to Rachel Daisy and she's going to pick a winner of the one that she likes best out of all of them. It can be a quilt, it can be a bag, it can be table runners, placemats, whatever you want to do. And then the winner, this is the good bit, wins the kit to make the cushion with Rachel Daisy's pattern and our beautiful selection of Figos, which I am refusing at this moment in time to recut because it's got 28 10 centimetre strips. So you're going to win this gorgeous pack, which makes this with the pattern to make up your own. So grab 16 centimetres, uh, sorry, grab half a metre. No, hang on. We sell it by the panel. That's right. So it's a 60 centimetre repeat. You buy the panels, make up something, send us the photo, and you uh, will send it off to Rach, and she will she will judge it. I'm just, oh, sorry, I need to, um, sorry, it's all about, I'm just, let me have a look here. Heavens, it all works. Right. So that works. And that means I should be able to do that. And do that. Ha! Huh. You know... The only one that doesn't go is probably is probably the purple. Right. They all go. They all go with the panel. Right, well, there you go. So the only one that doesn't, I don't have any purple in this. But look how that blue pulls that up. I like this. So if any of you have got Dutch Cottage in your stash, we had panels like this um, and we had a long band along one edge and so when you um, got the panel repeat, you could use that strip to actually make your handles and um, yeah, I think, that, I think that would work again, definitely. So all oh, that's good. Um, the Figo, I've marked it. You can just see it there in the, in the mauve. That goes really well with the purple as well if you want something for lining to go with it. So I'm going to put this back up here. Now, um, so that's, I shouldn't say that's all, that's a lot of fabric and a lot of new stuff and a lot of things that just all work together which makes me very warm and happy and fuzzy inside, even though it's super hot. <laughs> Kathy! Don't say things like that. It's, you know, we're just girls. It's just, it, we're just, it's just the girls. It is, okay. It's going to be a needleworker's soiree. So, um, yeah, it, it's going to be 
it's just we just want to it's a day it's it's sort of a me day i want to you know i want to set it all up and spoil you all and you know just have gorgeous little things to make and we'll just walk the room and have a chat and it's going to be really lovely uh details next week i promise C kathy is silly uh yeah well you should be starstruck if you're going to get margaret upston you know with what she's doing now. I'm always starstruck when I'm with Margaret Upston, even if we're sitting up drinking coffee together at her place, I'm still starstruck. Do you know she was actually my, well, was my chiropractor confirming my Monday morning appointment, I think, later. Um, she was my mentor when I started doing the shows. She was so good to me and so generous. And now it's so lovely I get to hang out with her. Hello, Heather. I can see you're watching. Hello. Yeah, just to meet, you know, because we've all been locked up, it's just a me day to sit in nice little round tables or a nice little trestle and chat with some funky table decorations and door prizes. Um, now, bags. Just going back to these amazing prints, you're thinking, I want someone, I don't know what to make. So this is the, this is the size of the bag. We sidetracked. This is the size of the bag that comes with all of these shopping tote handles. So there's more colours than the ones that I've tagged for today, but this is the size pattern. And as I said, these are cut at 14 and a half high. So you might you might want to go taller than that. It looks taller than that, doesn't it? It is. It will be. Yeah, I just had to check for myself then for a minute. But that's your 14 and a half high. Um, and it's perfect. It's perfect to run that print through. So what I'm suggesting is you would just use the whole print and pop on your handles. But if you feel you want to break it up a bit, if it's 14 and a half high, what I would suggest is cut yourself maybe a band that's, um, well, you can buy the cork in 10 centimeter increments, right? So you would just buy your 10 centimeter increments. You would sew that onto the bottom of a piece. So it's going to end up three and a half finished with um, off the top of my head, ten and a half finish, so you're going to have a four inch and an eleven and an eleven inch up here, and get the same effect, the same height, but have that band down the bottom. So you might do the orange one with the red, and put the red handles on, or one of the others with the black, and put the black on, or the natural with the natural handles, just just to break it up a bit. The other thing that you can do, of course, is split it up this way. So you might decide to buy. Two, two of these or the ombre and one of these so there's no reason that you couldn't run the blue and the green or the blue the blue and the red split it down the middle so it's 18 and a half wide so you're going to cut two pieces so I think it's about nine and a half each sew them together and it will come back to the right measurement and then you're going to have a split personality on each side of the bag so that pattern's really good and as I said you've already got that up as a Melba tote pattern free download on the website if you want to do it with cloth handles. The one that I really want to do is this one and this is what comes with all of our magnetic uh, buckle bag buckles so with these guys that um, okay So this is these here. So I really like the idea of making up uh, this particular bag. And I can go a couple of different ways with this. I could just run the plain black like I have here and pop the I Spy fabric here and on the back. I could go really way out and mix and match a couple of them up together. Again, put two different colours together, top and bottom on the bag and then marry it all together with the black buckles in here. But I really, you know, that green, the green one with black in this would be really nice. Now, the thing that's going to limit me just a little bit, I thought, is swimming bags. Yes, um, that's a really good idea. So what's bugging me a little bit is if I put one of the feature fabrics here and I use the black for the contrast here, I'm not going to get this contrast across here and I really really want that so luckily for me back in stock today again not tagged for the show but if you put in buttons you will find them our self covered buttons that we had on 
on the show a couple of weeks ago. We did sell out of them and they've arrived back in today. So Steve's updated the stock, I think. Hello, Miss Ginger. Updated the stock. So I'm thinking that we have the feature fabric. Hello, beautiful. We have the feature fabric here and I've got that elastic black cord now and the self-covered buttons so I can fussy cut a little schmidge from one of these and it's going to sit down on the black with the elastic and I can set the elastic. Good magnetic. Oh, Ginny, heavens, um, into that seam on the edge of the flap. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. And I just have to pick a colour and I don't know. I don't know which one I'm going to pick. I, um, I don't know. Something different. I'm, I'm, you can tell I'm heading towards the orange. So anyway, that's, that's just another idea. Um, again with the Quilters Life, because I am doing that, you've got your clutch bag up and I'm actually going to put up this pattern for you as a free pattern on uh, a quilter's life if I haven't done already. So that if you don't want to do it with, if you don't want to have to buy the buckles to get the pattern, that pattern's going to be set up for you. I'll get Cass to do that over the weekend, so you'll have this pattern. The other thing that I thought was worth mentioning is um, which zips go with them as well, and which tassels. And there's just, you know, while we're in the bag heaven, the black. So the black one's going to work really well. The red's going to work with the red and the orange. And then this colour here, the lilac, it goes beautifully. I've got one out of the pack here and I'm just playing with. Stunning. Perfect. Because it pulls up all these pinky lilac colours that are in it. So it's going to give you a little bit of a contrast, but it's going to work really well. And then when we get down to the... <laughs> yeah, she has forgiven me for going away with Ada. She's just now decided to um, make as much noise as possible sitting on the floor. So, dark purple tassels are a go, as are the lilac ones, and these are under the... So in showing you this, look, you can see that these are all slightly different colours, but they all work with the fabric because there's so many colours in it. So they all work really well. I will I will put them all back in there. I'm not going to bore you with that information. Um, and then the other one that I wanted to make, you know, in between, oh, applique sampler. Finally, so if my poor girls, every month they're like, it's supposed to be monthly at least, not bi-monthly. I needed, I decided I needed an orange for the sashing, for the piece sashing. And everyone needs 20 centimetres. And there are 180 of you. I'll let you do the math on that. So it's about 45 metres of fabric. I just don't have that laying around, so I have to wait, wait, wait. So it's finally got here. Um yesterday or the day before so now we cut 180 20 centimeter cuts and also in the pack also came one of the fabrics for the kangaroo paw block I promised Barb a preview of the banks here and it's way up the end of the house she's going to kill me I'll stick it on the face the club Facebook page but I had to wait for that so I'm that's me this weekend in between other things is a kangaroo paw block and cutting the sashing so I can get it out. That we're only we're going to end up a month late. At the end of it, a month late. No, probably more like two. A few of you are waiting, and I'm, that means there's like three of you, four of you out of the entire 180 that are up and that are up to date. That's funny, isn't it? It's a lot of work though. Okay, this. Mm. This is the other bag that I wanted to think about making, particularly when it comes down to the zips. So while this is all looking absolutely gorgeous and pretty in Liberty, I really like the idea of making this just in the I Spy fabric. And instead of doing all this fancy, lovely stuff, um, binding the edge in black, on the bias. So I would just make this all, all of it perhaps in the green or the red. 
and contrast and bias, bias, um, yeah, bias edge my flap. You know the other thing you could do with this, when you bag it out, so when you actually sew these two sides of the flap together, we could insert a little paper, couldn't we, of folded over thin strip of black, and then that would work. And then instead of all of this, again, I would do my little bit of loop of elastic with my self-covered button down here so that we've got a little bit of a contrast and interest going on, but this time this would be black and all of this would be green. And then on the back, black zip, and we've got our shoulder straps in well, they're on the website anyway, in the black and the red, so you could... Oh, wait, <laughs> I put them in here. So these ones have got the toggle, the little toggly things with them. Let's just have a look. Should we go the green? Let's go the red. So if I pop that down there, good. So this would be my whole bag, oops, this would be my whole bag and I would use my black, I'd have my black strap, oh look there's red as well, it, you know, so red one's still in here, you can go all red, you know, if you want the contrast you can do the contrast. You've got black zip. And you've got red zip. These, these are our fancy schmancy ones that comes in a set, but you've also got dress zips on the website as well if you don't want to do the ones with the big fancy schmancy metallic gold teeth and the little pulls. There are dress zips as well. But to me, that would be a really nice little, a nice little bag as well. And you know, if you love the idea of the proper colour but you don't want too much pop, the smaller bag, a little, a little less, a little less pop. So that, Sharon Keys, get on with it. Uh, I know, I, the, I'm sure I can find an incentive for you, Sharon, to get to, um, to catch up or get going. I'm sure I can. Um, but maybe, maybe you could bring it with you, you know, on the 14th and 15th of May, if you can come. And then you could sit there and do that because there will be things included in the day for you to sew, especially designed by three people. But there are no rules, so you could actually bring something else that you want to work on. As long as it's handwork, you'll be able to bring it. So that will be entirely up to you, what you decide to bring. Now, I am really hoping that I have completely confused and bamboozled you so that you don't know what you want to do if you want to do anything that was my plan um in a cheesy kind of <laughs> way but uh i just i hope there's something here that you really like and emma and i as i said will be back on tuesday to show you some ideas and some of these applications that we want to play with them with i know she's got a lot of stuff what's the other thing she mentioned oh yes of course um Again, we've got on the website or in the Quilters Life, you have got the book cover pattern. So even for, you know, uni students and stuff that are going back about now, like Steve, how nice to have a diary or a notebook covered in one of these. Be just lovely and a really nice set. I have a girlfriend with a birthday coming up. I could actually do her a set. It would be really nice. So, um... Great for placemats as well, particularly when the kids are over because they're going to sit there and try and find everything. You have a little list of things for them to find. Just, you know, lots and lots of fun to be had. I think I'm going to be really mad if I finish off and I have forgotten something, but I think I've pretty I think I have. If I've forgotten something, I'll pop it in the newsletter this weekend. And so I will see you back here. <laughs> uh, yes, Patricia says, you've been successful. <laughs> oh, panel pocket bag would look great in the fabrics. Yes, it would, Felicity. Yeah, you're right, it would, absolutely. Um, so, uh, please, I can't 
I cannot do anything sewing as my craft room is not ready and I'm Ah, oh, Sylvia, that's a shame. Well, you know, we've all got you've all got a plan for the for the future. Um, Kristen asks, does the lilac zip go with the pink coloured collage fabric? I don't think so. Let's just check. I don't think so, but um, there are really nice with some really nice zips um, there, but they're the dress zips, Kristen. So if you go into zips. It'll pull up all the birch ones that we've got. There are 25 centimeter ones there in a really nice dark pink and a pale pink. If you choose one of those, just put a little note in the comments asking me to double check that it goes. And if it doesn't, I'll switch it over for you or give you a call. Let's just double check. Uh, add a stretch. Add a stretch. That should not work, but it actually, it's, it's freaking me out. That's what it looks like against it. There's a little bit of that lilac that's in there. Just a little bit. So we did go through and look at all the zips. Um, we did go through and check all of the zips to see what went where. Like the aqua and teal don't go with the blue. We did check that. So maybe not, but as I said, just have a look at the other ones that we've got. Because if you do need a zip and you can't get to one, then uh, we can definitely help you out with a zip. Definitely help you out with a zip for that. Tell you what I didn't get out is the dark pink tassels that go. Just hold those up for you so you can see. So they go really well. Uh, and they go with the darkest of those pinks that I also put up uh, on their own in the solids. A little bit of bling. So that goes that goes okay. Ciao, me. I'm making a bucket hat and hoping it will fit. My bullfinch is so funny. Right, half my shed is going to be a craft room. Only half, Sylvia. That's so rude of me, isn't it? Um, I don't know what I'm to say. I have three rooms here for, for studio, for storage, and for sewing. I have a business. That's my excuse, and I'm, st and I'm sticking to it. But, um, seriously, I'm dribbling now. Listen, you all have an absolutely fabulous weekend, won't you? And I look forward to seeing you back here at 2 o'clock on Tuesday afternoon with Emma. It is 2 o'clock Tuesday, as per usual next week. I'll put a little, put a little event thingy up and have a great, uh, have a great weekend. Quilter's Life. Deal ends midnight on Monday. On the 28th, you have a 10% of discount code if you are a member of Quilter's Life. So you might want to use that this weekend and if not join um, and then you're going to get some of these great patterns included in your membership as well and there's stacks more coming up. All right. I um, I shall chuff off. Thanks everyone. Yeah it was Diana. It was a big show and it was all very telly silly wasn't it? But we'll be back and make up for it with demos uh, next week. If, I've, if there's anything else you need, you know, just email me. The phone is still dodgy, um, so info at Chandler's Cottage will get you through to us. And we will be here uh, tomorrow as well if you need us, all right, filling orders. And Steve and I need to catch up and get some more cutting done for new stuff, all right. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.